All right, we're about to watch Walter Hamada blow Amber Heard's claims out of the water. By the way, this also contradicts what Amber Heard's so-called expert witness, Catherine Arnold, said yesterday trying to justify her $100 million counterclaim against Johnny Depp. Uh, what Mr. Hamada is about to say confirms what Johnny Depp's lawyers have been saying all along. This is amazing. Work for uh, Warner Brothers Entertainment, Inc. Yes, I do. In what capacity? Uh, my title is president of DC-based film productions for Warner Brothers. What, if anything, you did to prepare to testify for Warner Brothers as to topics 2 through 18? Um, I, I did not do anything to prepare for this, other than my the meeting that I had with the attorneys. Did Warner Brothers have a contract with Amber Heard to perform in Aquaman 2? Yes, there, there was a, a we, had op, we had an option agreement for her for Aquaman 2. Option agreement. Do you know what it is? It looks like a standard contract between a, a an actor and in the studio. And which actor was involved in this? Which which actor was a party to this contract? Amber. Uh, it's a contract for Amber Heard for the for the role of Mara in Aquaman and its sequels. Which studio contracted with uh, Amber Heard? Warner Brothers. When did you uh, come to be the president of DC? At the beginning of 2018, 2018. Mr. Hamada, was Ms. Heard ever released by Warner Brothers from the Aquaman 2 contract, or the, what you call the option agreement? No. Was she released from her Aquaman 2 contract on or about February 22, 2021? Uh, no. Was Ms. Heard ever rehired for Aquaman 2 by Warner Brothers? No. Hmm. Watch. This is this is just amazing because it flies in the face of everything we heard last night or yesterday. Did Ms. Heard receive a pay increase for Aquaman 2? Why not? Here we go. Uh, we, as a rule, <laughs> as a company, we make these, we go through a lot of trouble when we make our deals with our actors, where we get option, uh, we get options on them for subsequent movies. And I think traditionally, um, prior to me joining the company, every option was renegotiated. And one of the things that we were trying to put a rein in on was not renegotiating every deal uh, with the understanding that people come in and make these deals and they have an understanding that there will be options and that there is a deal in place. And it was a big part of our philosophy that we were going to hold people to their options moving forward. But did Warner Brothers at any point in time reduce Ms. Heard's role in Aquaman 2? The role in the film that the size of the role in the film that she has was determined in the early development of the script, which would have happened in 2018, I would Boom. say. Boom! Well, so, and from there, beyond normal development, um, the, the role sort of, the character's involvement in the story was sort of what it was from the beginning. Was her role ever reduced for any reason? Um, no, I mean, I, again, from the early stages of the development of the script uh, the movie was built around uh, the character of arthur and the character of orm arthur being jason momoa and orm being patrick wilson Boom. Um, so they were always the two co-leads of the movie take Did that Warner brothers catherine plan to portray miss bird as the co-lead in aquaman 2. no I mean, it, was, it was the movie was always pitched as a buddy comedy between uh, Jason Momoa and Patrick Wilson. Was Miss Heard cast in Aquaman? Yes, she was. 
Was Ms. Heard cast in Aquaman 2? Yes, she was. Was Ms. Heard paid for her services in Aquaman 1? Yes. Was Oof. Ms. Heard paid for her services in Aquaman 2? Yes. Was her compensation for Aquaman 2 affected in any way by anything said by Johnny Depp? No. Boom! Was her compensation Done. for Aquaman 2 affected by anything said by Adam Waldman? No. Boom! Was her compensation put a fork in Amber's career and her counterclaims, she is done. Her goose is cooked. Station for Aquaman 2 affected by anything said by anybody representing Johnny Depp. No. Ooh, big oof. Take that. Was there any delay in Warner Brothers exercising the option to cast Miss Heard in Aquaman 2? Uh, yes, there was. How long a delay was there? Um, I don't know, probably weeks. What was the cause of the delay? Uh, there were conversations about potentially recasting. Who was the producer? Uh, Peter Saffron. Who was the director? Uh, James Wan. Did Warner Brothers believe that those concerns were legitimate? Uh, yeah, I mean, I had no reason not to believe the director and the producer of the movie. And you are testifying today, the representative of Warner Brothers, correct? Yes, I am. What, if wow. any, creative concerns did Warner Brothers have about asking Amber Heard as Mira in Aquaman 2. This is the concerns that were brought up uh, at the wrap of the first movie, production Oof. of the first movie, which is the issue of chemistry. Did the two have chemistry? Um, Damn. Know, editorially, they were able to, to make that relationship work in the first movie, but there was a concern that it took a lot of effort to get there, and would we be better off recasting, finding someone who had better, more natural chemistry with Jason Momoa uh, and move forward that way. Holy right. shit. Did Warner Brothers uh, take any steps Damn. affirmatively to audition other actresses for the role of Mira in Aquaman 2? No, we did not. Other than the creative concerns and concerns about chemistry you testified about, was there any other reason Warner Brothers delayed in picking up Ms. Herbert's option for Aquaman 2? No, it was all it was all concerns about whether she was the right bit of casting for the movie. Wow. What role, if any, did Ms. Herbert's dispute with Johnny Depp have in Warner Brothers delay? Picking in picking up Miss Heard's option for Aquaman two. There was there was none from our end. At any point in time, was Warner Brothers considering paying Miss Heard more money for Aquaman two? <sighs> then is set forth in the option contract you previously identified. No, as I said, we, we, were, we were determined to hold our actors to their option agreements. Would Warner Brothers have paid Ms. Heard more money on Aquaman 2 if it had picked up her option earlier? No. Oh, At any time from the beginning of history through today, did Warner Brothers ever release Ms. Heard from the Aquaman 2 contract? No. At any point in time from the beginning of history to today, did Warner Brothers rehire Ms. Heard for Aquaman 2? 
No, because we just picked up her option. <laughs> and, and when is the last time you spoke with Rob Cohen uh, relating in any manner to whether to exercise the option on Amber Heard for Aquaman 2? No, it would have been the same time that I was having those conversations with Peter Saffron. So in 2020. Did you speak with Zack Snyder at all relating to whether to exercise the option for Amber Heard on Aquaman 2? No. I've not had any conversations with Zack Snyder. <laughs> Did you speak at all with Jason Momoa in preparation for your uh, deposition today? No. Have you ever spoken with Jason Momoa about any issues relating to chemistry between he and Amber Heard? Um, yes. Ooh. When Big oof. Did you speak with Jason Momoa about chemistry issues between he and Amber Heard? That would have been in that same time period where we were prior to green light of the movie. Dang. Now, you were asked some questions about scripts. Uh, did you review any of the drafts of the script for Aquaman 2? Yes. When? I, I, part of my role is I read all those drafts of the scripts as they come in when was the first script for aquaman 2 oh okay. boy i cannot tell you probably in 2018 the latter part of 2018 would be my guess and how many versions of the script had been written by the beginning of 2021 for aquaman 2 Oh, there, there were probably half dozen drafts of the script. Brought up. All right. What, if anything, did Rob Cowan say to you about chemistry? What specifically about the chemistry between Amber Heard and Jason Momoa? Just the the fact that they didn't really have a lot of chemistry together. <laughs> um, you know, oh. the, the reality is. It's not uncommon on movies for, for two leads to not have chemistry and that it's sort of movie magic and editorial, the ability to sort of put performances together and with the magic of, you know, a great score and, and how you put the pieces together, you can you can fabricate sort of that chemistry. <laughs> um, and so I think oh, in, in, God. at the end of the day, I think if you watch the movie, they looked like they had great chemistry. You had to but fabricate it? Through the course of the post-production that it took Holy a lot of effort shit. to get there. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's very easy. You just put the, you know, characters on the screen together and they work. And sometimes it's harder. And so... Can you give me anything more specific about what it was with Amber Heard and Jason Momoa that was difficult for the chemistry? No, because it's, 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 it's like what makes a movie star a movie star. Like, <laughs> oh, you, you, know it you, see it and you got it, it or you don't. Guy. Now, you've used the term fabricated a number of times. What did you do to fabricate the chemistry between oh Amber Heard and God. Jason Momoa? Well, those are just, it, it, it's editorial. A, a good editor and a good filmmaker can pick the right takes, can pick the right moments, and put scenes together. Again, score is a big, Jesus. you know, the music in a scene makes a big difference. It can make a happy scene feel sadder or a sad scene feel happier. Uh, and so it was sort of the, it's, it's it's just the magic of post-production um editing sound sound design music etc what, what do you mean by fabricating though i mean were they literally <laughs> falsifying or come on were they picking the best no. music let me just let me finish my question um were they picking the best music and picking the best looks because what that's their job any? and that's what you do on every scene that that is what we do in, in post-production that's what filmmakers do they, they, no, but yeah, they, 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 this is on any production you're doing that, you're, you're putting performances together. Sometimes it's either easier than others. Uh, this one uh, was more difficult uh, oh. because of the lack of chemistry between, between the two. Um, but they were able to, James Wan and the editor were able to get it to a place where the end result actually works. And it's great. And in fact, that's the job of every filmmaker, right? Is to put all the combinations together to make the most successful production. Absolutely. I'll tell you what has been marked as uh, exhibit number five. It's ALH 18247. And this is a text message exchange between James Wan and Amber Heard. And you mentioned James Wan was the director of Aquaman 2, is that correct? And Aquaman 
and Aquanet, the first one, correct? That's correct. All right. And uh, James is texting to Amber on August 25, 2018. You rated really high with the audience, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Do you see that? Yes. This is August 25, 2018. What's going on on August 25, 2018 that would cause the director to send a, a text message to Amber saying... Um, that'd be a test screening. We, so during our post-production of the movie, we test the movie with an audience and the audience tells us what they liked and what they didn't like. Uh, and so that's what he's referring to there. And they really liked Amber Heard, correct? Yes, she did. She tested well. It hit a billion dollars, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. And more specifically, did you play any role in the determination to communicate to Amber's representatives that Warner Brothers was considering not exercising her option? Um, yeah, probably in the sense of we had the conversations, and I believe, if I recall, we had uh, that's where Peter Safran offered to reach out to the agent uh, and express where, which direction we were leaning. Have you seen any document that says there was any chemistry issues between Amber Heard and Jason Momoa has in to Aquaman be a document? 1? Document? Documents? No, I mean, those were all conversations. <laughs> but if Jason came back and James Wan came back, you were guaranteeing that Amber Heard would play Mira, correct? That's correct. Okay. And Jason Momoa uh, was able to negotiate a different uh, he's the star a different compensation structure was he not for aquaman 2 that's true he did he did renegotiate now aquaman was the <coughs> highest grossing dc film ever for warner brothers was it not yes it was because of jason not amber and what if any issues if any? did you have with Here amber heard in aquaman 2 Uh, my understanding is actually the production went very smoothly. Boom. Thank you. Your next witness. Boom. So he just flat out said that it had nothing to do with Adam Waldman's statements. It had nothing to do with uh, the Johnny Depp thing. And um, none of the stuff that Catherine Arnold claimed yesterday. Amber's own expert witness, who, by the way, was incredibly uninformed and at one point she was asked oh so do you think you know more than walter hamada and she goes oh <laughs> like no you don't because you weren't there you don't work for the studio you have no idea actually the thought process that went into their decisions so that was hilarious that to me seems like a big loss for amber